Yo, what's going on guys? R is the strongest mid laner in the game for our runes. We took Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Scorch, Mana Flow, Attack Speed, AP, and Armor. She's been the strongest mid laner for the past couple of patches. In this patch, she got even stronger because Riot decided to make Lost Chapter 200 gold cheaper. Probably not realizing, oh wait, R is already the best. This is her first item rush. We should probably nerf her a little bit. So she's still number one and on top. Lost Chapter is exactly what we're going to be going for in this game into Everfrost. The only way to guaranteed land your charm is through Everfrost. Because people are always, always, always looking to juke it. So if you don't have Everfrost, your best bet is if they're standing still, if they're already CC'd, if they're by a wall, or if you're very, very, very close to them. So Everfrost is super important. For our trade pattern, it's going to be W auto attack. And we're going to apply Electrocute. We want to stair step. You do it by attacking the minion that your minions are attacking. You don't want them to all die at the same exact time. Ari doesn't have much wave clear at uh, level 1 with her W. Her W is mainly for trading because it's not a skill shot. You don't really want to auto the enemy champion if you're going to miss a minion to do it. He's throwing out Rakes. We'll W into him. Couldn't find the auto there very well. Your W will heat sink on whoever you are uh, auto attacking. This range creep is getting focused. It is a little bit harder to last hit with a Dark Seal than a D-Ring. Dark Seal is usually worth it though, because Mana Flow gives you plenty of mana, and we can get lo lost chapter so consistently. W and Tomb auto. There's our Electrocute. Z trades away. That was a very good trade for us, because we can also heal from our passive just by last hitting. Your W is a good minion farm tool because it does 200% bonus damage if the minions are 20% health or less. We ignite into him, down he goes. Great gank from the Talia there. Do you need me to use my charm? Talia CC is so freaking overwhelming. Got the wave pushed. You shouldn't really expect to get kills pre-6 on Ari. I might just flash him out from out of vision. A little bit awkward. Talia still might get the kill, though. All right, not bad. We could, in theory, stay. We're sitting on a lot of gold. I would like to wait till I can get my lost chapter is the thing. Town's only level two. The closer we are, the easier it is to last hit. It's part of why it's been a little challenging this game. Because of the Talon Rake. His Rake outranges my W. To where we can't stand on top of the minions and farm them easily. You gotta remember as a range champ, we have that extra float time on our autos. It gets much easier if we can stand close to them. He's using his minion dematerializer. We need to thin this out a bit. Oh, my range creep focused his load one in the back. I'm down to back now. I have enough for my lost chapter. It's also on cannon wave. So that's one cool thing about Dark Souls. You get three pots instead of only two from the Doran's ring. So we can get Lost Chapter first back. This would not be possible until this patch. We use W to get back to lane. Once you have Lost Chapter, especially this early into the game, you never really run out of mana. Because every time you level up, you get 20% of your max mana back. Plus, we already have the D-Ring mana. So even without... I mean the uh, mana flow mana. So even without D-Ring, we have more than enough mana. Since it is per level and you get more levels early on in the game, it's kind of sick to be able to get it this early. We get to take advantage of that for quite some time. Go ahead and push this down. The minions are very low, therefore W will do exceptional damage against them. You can hit all six minions with your Q as they're trailing in. You just have to wait a half a second after the first minion meets you. He lines himself up with the wall, we hit him with Q. When they line themselves up against walls or turrets, it's very easy to hit them with Skill shots. Got him with an auto W there. Accidentally took a turret shot. Got pathed around the minions in an unfavorable way. It's all right though. We can heal back up through up. Uh, last hitting. Get off the charm W, and this guy's toasted and roasted. Talia ganks are absolutely disgusting. This is a platinum talon. He is not having a fun time. You pretty much always just hold on to your charm. It's kind of like your one bullet in the chamber. When the enemies truly commit, 
then you can punish them for it because the closer they are the easier it is to land so if they're not lined up easy if they're not already cc'd you kind of just hold on to your charm because if they do full commit and it's on cooldown you're gonna die he lines himself up with the wall but he went around the turret that was a good little move get him with a w auto attack i'm gonna r past that he kind of panicked away there I can actually go ahead and uh, reset here probably because he's about to hit six. Flash around that. That was actually a really close flash. If I was just a tiny bit farther away from the light, I wouldn't have been able to make it over. I wanted to stay and kill him on my next electrocute cycle. We weren't going to be able to because now I'm missing too much health and he's going to get six on this wave. We're going to keep going for the Everfrost. We'll pick up Boots. We don't even need a potion at this stage of the game. You only really need potions at the start. Ari heals so much from her passive. She's the number one mid laner, not because crazy outplays necessarily or because her insane one-shot damage. It's just the consistency, man. Self-speed up on W. You can knock people out of the air with your E. Even if they're in a dash, it knocks them down. And uh, triple dash on R. So as a mid laner, you typically get ganked the most in the game. You know, because the jungler is pretty much always near you. So it's it's nice to have all that extra survivability. Got it. I have an okay amount of CS, could be higher. Like I said, it is a bit easier to last it with Dark Sill. I mean with Doran Ring than Dark Sill. Because the Doran Ring gives you extra damage on your autos against minions. Ari has so much kill potential at 6 though with roams or just abusing somebody that um, getting the Dark Seal stacks is pretty easy. Don't know where Talon is, even though our R is about to be up, there's no reason to roam if we're going to get guaranteed plates like this. He's going to line himself up with the wall, he stands still to throw out Rake, we get him with the uh, EQW. Oh, shouldn't have canceled that auto. I thought I was in turret range. So now if we stand here for half a second, we can launch through the whole wave. Just remember, if the enemy wave's coming in, if you just stop the first minion in front for like a half a second, you can hit the whole wave with your Q. We W'd forward, got the movement speed into an auto attack there. These are good spots to ward because you can see both directions. My R is up. He's burning through refills. We'll do the same thing. We'll catch the first minion here. I want to push and roam, ideally bot side. We'll catch the first minion into AQ. Barely missed that one in the back. We needed to wait a little bit longer there. She's looking for it. She almost found it. She got his dash out, which is pretty solid. I didn't want to have to R there. Maybe I didn't have to R, it's hard to say. Auto into R, auto, R away. We'll R into him, QW auto. Down he goes. That's the beautiful thing about Ari, man. Multiple champion fights, one kill or assist, and you get a free R dash to use. It's up to three, I believe. Super, super strong. Oh, didn't even see I was itching my nose, Shaco. Not cool, bro. Not cool, my dude. What is this Talia? You'd think we're doing, but we're, I'm not. I'm playing by myself. This Talia is camping me so hard, though. It's incredible. I guess I am one of her easier ganks with the charm follow-up. If me or her land our CC, the other one lands it for guaranteed free, and it's so much. Now we get our Everfrost. You don't typically want to get tier 2 boots before Everfrost, because Everfrost is so important. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy this, this, into this. We'll W to get back to wave. Once you have lost chapter, W to get back. The movement speed's fine. Realistically, I would have gone for mesh. I want to give you guys a more realistic build path, though, because in your games, you're not going to be getting mesh that early. And most games, for me, I wouldn't either. It's just this game's been really high kill count mid. But yeah, Everfrost is what you want. Then you get tier 2 boots. At that point, if you did go Dark Seal and have a bunch of Dark Seal stats, Stacks you can look for mesh, but typically after Everfrost tier 2, you're gonna pick up like Shadow Flame, Zhonya's, Rabadon, those type of items. The reason why you want Lucids is because of the cooldown. It makes your Everfrost on a lower cooldown. 
And like we discussed, the only way to consistently land Charm is to have Everfrost because it's a snare. And even if you miss the snare, the slow is enough for them not to be able to move out of the way. Just like this. You see how we landed the, we just R, Everfrost EQ, and of course we mixed in our W there. There's nothing he could have done unless he had flash, he wasn't gonna be able to dodge it. Well, we see where the cane is. I could collapse on him here. I'll W into him. Wow, this Talia's damage is high. It makes me kind of want to play Talia jungle a little bit. Talia jungle's pretty fun. Stop the wave here for a second. Into a big Q. Look at that. I W over here. Catch him with the EQ. Auto Everfrost. W. Down he goes. Just remember, you have to use Everfrost. If you're playing Ari, you have to put it on a key or a button or hotkey anything on a foot pedal to use it. Because if you're not using it, Ari is not a good champion. She's just not. She's incredibly weak without Everfrost because you will not be able to consistently land Charm. Because every time you dash in or speed in, they're always just juking and spazzing out. And you can't land it. You just, you can't. very frustrating too when you go in without it and then they juke it because then you have very little follow-up like there he just set himself up i think he's dead yeah you got greedy we tagged him with a bit of damage beforehand he steps up we tag him with the everfrost and sets up everything you can use your r in place because it does damage so you could even do it <laughs> like if you're already in the right position and you just want to use your R's extra damage, that's fine. Just try to get off an auto attack or at least one ability in between your R's and maximize your damage output. So you, after Everfrost tier 2s, you would normally just look for Shadow Flame and then uh, like Robidon, Everfrost tier 2, Shadow Flame, Robidon, or pick up Azanias. In this case, since we have 10 stack Dark Seal, we'll pick up Mesh. 10 stack. On Dark Seal into Medge is really strong because 10% bonus movement speed is insane. 10 stack Medge more than pays for itself already. Because it's giving us 70 AP, which is like a full AP item, plus 100 health and 10% movement speed. Super, super strong. Ari, pre 6, you shouldn't push wave unless you're looking to reset. Because she takes ganks well, so. If you're not looking to reset or to roam, don't push wave pre-6. Typically at level 5, if you know you can't get a kill in lane, at level 5, when you're like halfway, right, right here, you'll start to shove waves. But uh, pre-6, pre-5, if you're not looking to reset or roam, there's absolutely no reason to really push on R. Oh, what the hell? Where did he go? Got him with the EQ. Probably running this guy down. Yep, got my free R charge. I'll go for the Varus here, I think. He's going to be greedy. We still have some time to use these as well. Go in R in, W, R into E. You see how we juked it? Because we didn't have ever frost up, so guess what? They juke it. That happens like every time too. We could have even flashed it and make sure the back end landed there. I felt like it was going to land. So I'm pretty fast with the mesh. They will always juke it if you just R in and try to throw charm. If they're paying attention, you have to R ever frost then E. Even if the snare misses, the slow will land. I could probably flash and kill him. Auto EQ. Oh, okay. Got it. I knew he was going to have something there, so I was holding on to my flash as long as I could until I could no longer reach. Down he goes. I get the free R charge. I'll head on out. Oh, Shaco's on me. Shaco's looking to pick up a kill. She should just take that. I got a lot of my health back. We're chilling. This is a good spot to get out of here. 
Everfrost is a pretty low cooldown. The more abilities you get, the lower it gets. We got Shadow Flame. Now we would go Robidon. You don't have to go Robidon. Third item. Although it is usually the best on Ari. If for whatever reason they had... I don't even know why you need Banshees. If you're having trouble staying alive, don't go Robidon. Third item goes on his third Banshee. But uh, typically you just change your positioning a little bit. You don't have to be the first person to go in. It's usually better if you're not. My R is on cooldown, but Everfrost is up. I don't know if this is warded. We'll right, wait right here just in case. Until we see some more confirmation about what's up. You could run bot. And your R is up or it's 15, 20 seconds from being up. You need to look around. All right, there's some stuff going on top side. I'm gonna speed up away. Oh, this is the wrong Shaco. Got it. I still have some R's left. Get with the EQ. We'll go ahead and R this way. Might be able to find a little something something. Nope. Couldn't find it. Shaco Town too fast. Got quite a bit though. Not only do you heal from just farming minions and monsters, but when you get a kill versus some enemy champion, you get a bunch of health back as well. It makes Ari insanely tanky in fights. Cause not you're able to move out of people's auto attack range, dodge abilities with your R, and then you heal so much from passive that. She ends up being way tankier than anyone expects. Just with how slippery she is in her passive healing. We need to get away from their base here. Guess he dashed that. I kind of have to back off here a little bit. This cane is being a, a nuisance. I threw down the Everfrost, got the slow on Varus from it. That's about it. Speeding up off my W. R in place, getting with my W here. Auto R, auto R. Ooh. Yeah, there's nowhere to go. <laughs> I was spamming R. Whenever you get the killer assist and you get your R, a free charge of it, basically an R extension, it takes a second or two to for it to come in, so you kind of have to mash it when you really need it, like I was doing there. There's too much, too much of them. Too many bodies. They're losing their base. We took this inhib way too early. You don't want to take inhibs pre-19 minute mark, because you can't even take Baron till 20 minute mark. So even if you take a 19 minute mark, they're still getting a full minute of your supers plowing, which makes your team lose golden XP since your supers are stealing everything. That's why you don't typically take it to like 19 minutes at the soonest. Taking it 18 or 17 is too early. It helps the enemies get back into the game because you can't take Baron yet. It's like, what do we do right now? We got to push bot or top. Kane's coming for this. Are you kidding me? Random Shaco box just did 400 damage. Kind of ridiculous. Varus is two full items. I'm not even fed. Varus has as many items as me. Less CS, less kills. I missed Charm. Basically missed my Q as well. I wish people would stop blowing up the fake one on me. He's about to hit me with his R. Down he goes. I'm going to speed up away with W. Main's going in here. Town's about to get on top of people. Oh, that's not good. I need someone to get this talent. Shaco's looking for a kill. Good thing I had Everfrost up or I would have died there. Really nasty fight, man. Talon got red buff. <laughs> so he was hard to get away from. I was kind of forgetting to use my Everfrost there. We're able to keep our mesh up. 
You have to adjust your mindset when you're playing slippery champs like Ari. Never allow yourself to die. It's not worth it. She has too much value from staying alive. She can always get back into the fight with W speed up or with R extensions. And plus, if Everfrost comes back up, that's huge in a fight to come back in with another sna AoE snare, AoE slow. Plus, staying alive, you can't keep, you keep your mesh stacks. And usually, since Ari is able to stay alive, you'll build up shutdown gold because you're getting kills and assists. So, even if we can go in and kill three people, unless we can end off of it, if I'm going to die killing three, it's not really worth because they're going to get a huge shutdown and I'm going to lose stacks. Uh, I don't know where that guy went. I can't really get to him, I don't think. Okay, I got my free R charge. Oh, I think it has to be within three seconds. I don't know if I got it there. I think with R, R they might have made it killer assist within three seconds of hitting them or something like that. Should be able to get Baron off of it. Oh, <laughs> look at that all ones. 11, 1, 11. <laughs> oh, man. The perfect score. I guess perfect score would have been 11, 0, 11. W can't quite reach it from here. R is about to be up. We got a position a bit safer then. Position towards our left side where we have all the vision. And now once our R comes up, we can be a lot more aggressive. I assume there's a Shaco box here. He still gets that knock up and he's basically just snared. You get the speed up, get him with the EQ. I don't think Town liked that at all. I'm taking so much damage. <laughs> Holy crap. I got the Ornar, the Orn dash, I almost killed Town. Team trades off one for one. Uh, I think I can still stay in this fight, honestly. Everfrost is coming back up. Shaco is probably coming for me right now. Yeah, I gotta leave. I'm gonna die if I stay. These boxes, they hurt worse than a Teemo Shroom. He's, he's permanent, permanently laying crap. <laughs> so annoying. All right, I am not gonna go around chasing a Shaco. Really, Banshees would be good this game. It would be really strong. Random Varus Arrows, Talon trying to burst me. Kane trying to burst me, or an R. I don't think we need it though. It's usually more for things you can't dodge, like an Annie stun. Banshees is a really strong option. Which will hit you with a Q or with a Tibbers. Tibbers happens too fast to really react to. Uh, it can be good against Malzahar as well. With how Malzahar abilities work, if you were to scrape your Banshees first, you wouldn't really have any damage output. If you tried playing it that way. Then push this real quick. He's in bush. I already know. He's being a... He's being a troll. Not the R out this way. Varus is like full health too. Varus is literally like full health. A dragon's up. We can actually lose this game. As a team, we're dying a lot. If I die and lose my stacks, this game is, becomes very losable. The way you guarantee wins is by uh, getting the drags, and we haven't really been doing that. We only have one drag 24 minutes in. It's not that much. I think the, the, as a team, we just got kind of cocky and playing for kills. Kills don't win games, though, unless you're able to take objectives off of it. I would love a blue buff. I think I just killed his box. Pretty sure. I'm going to W into him, get him with the EQ. Whoa, Kane just got obliterated. I'm going to R into this guy, get him with the Everfrost. I get an R for free off of him. Hey, Shaco. Oh, dude, that box. That box is... 
Half my health. He has one item. Shaco support's not even strong. It's simply annoying. It really is. Just gotta do your best not to chase it. Surprised they were able to kill him there. He even took flash, so he is serious about not dying. Whenever you see a Shaco take flash, they're probably gonna troll around with boxes a lot. I want to get this guy with my Everfrost. The cane. That works too. There's minions in the way of the charm. I couldn't use it. Get him with an EW. Ugh, this is kind of weird. Alright, that works. Trying to find the charm on the Orn there. Got my ignite on his head, so he's eating some true damage. This is the fake one, I can tell. I flashed to get my Q on him. Did I use my Everfrost there? I don't even know. No way, he gets the kill. I really like to kill Shaco, we're not going to be able to. That's GG's. We'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt, enemy champions, we had the most in the game. Not bad. Damage taken, medium. For self mitigated, eh, kind of low medium. It's at least in comparison to Orn. Compared to everyone else, we were like the exact same. Like it's my AD carry and jungler and uh, their mid and whatnot. But compared to the top dealers, we were kind of irrelevant and self mitigated. And for runes, high value. All in all, Ari mid is exceptional. She takes ganks, she survives ganks through her W speed up. Uh, just remember, don't push. Unless you're doing it for a reason, because then your jungler can't gank free and then you're easier to gank. So you typically push on Ari when you're almost at level 6. So when you're almost at 6, you start pushing usually, or if you need to reset, you'll shove and then usually back on cannon wave. And the fastest way to shove is by uh, stopping the first minion for about a full second and queuing through the whole wave. So one queue will absolutely chunk the whole wave. And that's about it. All right, real easy. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.